Hello, welcome back to Lamplighters League and we have a mystery on our hands. I mean, it would be much better if we just do some missions to get some resources, but look at this, it's the DLC character because you don't even get the DLC character you paid for, so I'll just have to do a mission to get her back. Now the game, I don't know, it's a little weird like this, because it seems like you need a lot of agents, so on the survivor difficulty, it seems like you just have a lot of bad choices. Also, I'll save some of the skill points in case I need to assign her some points because I really want to play with her. Also, this is one of those missions where you play with three characters only. I understand, so that means we can assign someone else to plunder the loot over here. So that's meds and supplies. I don't want that. Or intel and meds. They already have five intel. What would be the point of having Remember, more? Remember, trust no one. Recover a stolen Magdalite cash. Yeah, but I don't like it. So I really wish they would give you more varied rewards because I want the Aether ones and I also want anything except the healing. Well, I guess healing will become important later. I see we have quite a bit of offensive equipment. I don't know. This is like the best way is just to get a lot of grenades and throw all of them on the enemy's heads. By the way, we have finally finished the tutorial. I think the tutorial is super long. You need to do about 5 missions or something crazy like that in order to finish it. Because you only officially finish it after you do the mission with your 4 agents and escape the mummies. So now we're in the true game. And for my next trick, I'll make a whole person disappear. Right under the court's noses. And this is supposed to be one of the very, very, very easy missions. Wow, the lighting is kind of nice here. So, how does a very, very easy mission look like? The target is here. I doubt is it's as easy as they say. <laughs> She's over there hiding in plain view. Save game. I doubt. Man, the saving takes a while, doesn't it? <coughs> oh, they come over here. Well, I guess that just makes my job a lot easier. Give me a moment. What's that? Lights out. Me. Bandages. If it works, it works. Don't question it. Nap time. So some supplies over here, some other stuff. Uh, yeah, it really seems like these missions are supposed to be super easy. So I just. Let's move. Knocked out some people and we can move. Uh. Looks like these people will also move. And if they don't move, well, we have a few punches for them already. Really, I didn't have enough time to play this game as I wanted just because of the huge amount of demos that came out and. To be honest, I wanted to try them and, I don't know, it's kind of hard to play, to do a let's play these days, especially because people don't really watch them as often as they used to. It means you'll have to either make videos every day or you just have to, I don't know, kind of rush the game and no, not play anything else.
Hmm, doesn't seem like they will go away. Oh, so we can get over here just by climbing, okay. Fireball. A key? Yeah, who needs a key? Wait, uh, I think we can just punch him out over here, okay. Yeah, easy missions are really easy, so I guess our missions will be three times as hard, so I guess instead of, let's say, six enemies, there will be about 15. Oh, wow. Down we go. Oh, well, that was easy. I guess that's it. There might be another group of enemies here. Keep up. On our soil. Hey, don't run away. Come on. Don't make this longer than it needs to be. That about sums it up. Yeah, we cleared that. Bruce Willis, like the assassin. You the one Locke sent us to grab? Call me Nocturne. Nocturne. What if I call you a new guy? How about that? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Uh, sadly, she just has another buzzer thing. Cool but effective. Stay put. Out of the way. Okay, so this is the exit. Are we going to do another mission with Nocturne Don't on wander. my side? <clears throat> like you can cross it, but it's not. Possible. Hang back. Okay, let's just do another save file because it would be such a big, big problem if you have to reload the game. Reloading the game is not such a big problem as the time waste. I think you really need a lot of options in a turn based game these days. We need something to speed up the animations, we need something for the enemy to kind of increase their movement speed or pass time faster. Move, okay. Yeah. Just had to make sure. Should be of interest to luck. What is this thing over here? Don't know, don't care. Nothing but the wind, yeah. This way. You frequently have to change your characters.
Oh no, I need to save again. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I need to save again because I need to knock out the assassin or the character that has a melee attack. And then I need to go back and destroy the other one. Or knock. Ah, I don't know. It seems like we're killing everyone these days. Knock out. Knock down. Eh, kill. Now you see the guard, and now you don't. <laughs> Took care of that one for you. Right this way. Hey. Yeah, man. Give me the. It's on. Asmats. But I was done. Don't tell me they all summer reinforcements. I was done. Uh, she could have just. Okay, let's see what she can do. Invisible for two rounds. Ooh. Interesting. One action point. Just up. Sure. Look this bad, right? Oh, okay, she has more speed. Yes, that's nice. I guess you have to use charged up in this one. Uh, sure, let's use charged up let's see how wow 35 hit chance this is difficult. why why was the chance to hit so low uh, let me see you can move. You took your eye off the prize. And that's 50% 50, 50 less. 50% uh, 50 less accuracy for chance to hit. Then I can go over here and do a push kick. You stay away from me. Man, this character is becoming a lot more useful than I remember. So. What else can she do? I mean, this is really not enough. She needs more abilities, I think. She can only shoot once per round. That's... That's quite a bit less than what I imagined. But it... Okay, she has a lot of movement speed. That's nice, I guess. Dual shot. Why is the chance to hit so low? I don't get it. This guy doesn't have any cover, doesn't have anything. I'm trying to get the mark on him. This gun is uh, broken or something. Well, just don't let it happen again. Shut up. So he will. I guess we can do a finisher. Forty-five, and I think shock does fifteen damage per turn or something like that. Not bad, but not good enough either. Is there no way to disable this thing? The only thing I really, really hate in games like this is infinite enemies or enemies that simply teleport. So it's kind of annoying they don't really tell you. How many enemies there will be or from where they will come. Hey, over here! 
or if they act in the first turn. Okay, I guess we can wait this one out. Yeah, let's see how the enemy here count. I thought this party was exclusive. So what's her ability? Minor damage inflict dazed on all enemies dazed. In shock. Uh, with shock. So I guess dazed for everyone and shock for everyone that has shock. What's the shock? Reduces their speed. Okay, so basically, this is going to be very annoying to use all of her abilities. So you need to have this one available to her. Yeah, this is not very straightforward at all. I don't like this character, to be honest. Not really worth the money you would pay for the... Eh. Look at these guys, they are much more straightforward. So let's use light them up, because we might have a mark on them. Pass the damage, okay, they're all marked. They should be running away. Okay. This is how we say hello. Not bad. I might learn a thing or two from you. And that's why Uncle Sam pinned the medal on me back in 18. Hmm. Okay, I definitely think this character needs a lot of upgrades before it becomes useful. Me. The invisibility is nice, but you need... You probably need a few turns to prepare all of this and only then can you use all of that cute stuff. Oh, we only have sight on... Okay. That was your last chance. I don't know what she's shooting, but it's super effective, as you can see. Isn't that a lovely sight? That's a great card for a melee character because now she can actually use a melee attack, a ranged attack. Is the no? It's not ready. Right. That's what you get. Okay, gun. Gun, gentlemen, can finish them. Let's get it done. I'm kind of disappointed on the DL scatter. I thought it would be a little more straightforward. This is the Magdalite cash. The gentleman Jin strikes again. Any other supplies around here? Yes, not. At least the scenery is nice. Okay, so I want to do, an to do another mission with her, but I don't think I'll have enough. <laughs> that stays there forever, right? I don't think I'll have time, and I already looted whatever was behind that door. Nice. I guess you can just go and open the door for the show. So every mission will have a few supplies, even though it's not mentioned over there. Yeah, we really need to expand their uh, inventory slots, because it seems like we're wasting a lot of resources like this. I don't know, they could have made it so you got, I don't know, transform this consumable into 10 supplies, something like that. I have to wonder why these people want you dead so badly. They don't want to kill me. They want me to stay dead. Sometimes it's better if you don't ask. Oh. And we're home free! Come on. The job's not truly done until you and Locke are face to face. We may as well. The hallucinations don't usually last this long. So we did all of the stuff. Anyway, I don't think the, her lore or backstory is that important. It's important that we rescued her.
Well, now we have another assassin, but it doesn't seem like I'll be using her. It seems like her abilities are kind of useless compared to the DPS output of Latif. Maybe again, she'll have more abilities, but using one attack per turn is kind of meh. Even armor and minus one speed, that's amazing. The club. Deal damage and shred five armor. Yes, that mostly depends on how much I want to use her, and it also doesn't say how much damage. I guess it's a lot of damage. Like this ability is on her. I really wish you could see the damage the cards deal, it's kind of annoying you don't see it. Seven armor and minus one speed. Well, I guess I could technically make Bruce Willis, but yeah, but even so, he doesn't have enough speed. Lab. I guess I can give her They'll that. They'll all go to the other side soon. If it's gotta get done, it's gonna get done. I'm like, activity. Our activity was very poor this round. Minus one fret, which is basically not enough. This will be of use. Such a intel. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh oh, look everyone, the boss is far from it. My suspicions. With the knowledge I've gained from the Keystone, I am assembling an atropic device. Think of it as the when the device is complete, you will carry it into the tower, into the storm. Where Can't be that easy. Each house has a catalyst from which it derives. Drums is a crystal called red sulfur. The burning mummies you fought were. Nicastro calls hers abyssal nectar. This strange elemento's is known as Persephonite. A miracle metal with other worlds. That stuff won't be. No, it won't. No one has ever. That's why I need you. Thieves and con artists, scoundrels. And you'll scour the globe to find my enemy's greatest. Three heists, each with impossible odds. They Agents, we have no time. Okay, now we can see Nocturne over here. It looks like she's the sit in the corner and brood type of character, man. Let's make something spectacular. Yeah, okay, so let's look at her. I really wish you would... You know how much damage this does. It seems like we can upgrade it, which would be a great idea, but... You upgrade it and what do you get in return? That's a console game. Well, now since he... <laughs> the behemoth. Mountain does not weep for thunderclouds. Eh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So... Uh, how do I remove it? Oh, you have to click on it and then remove it. Uh, let's do this thing first and then we'll do the rest. Now he has 12 armor, so I guess 12 armor means he negates 12 damage, so if you get... anyway. It'd be nice to have all of that armor, but his movement speed will be a problem. 5. Now let's see her skills. I should have looked at her skills much faster, but I'm always curious. That's not so good. That's not so good either. Dynamo. The problem is you can only shoot this once per turn. If her weapon has ammo, how do you make her weapon have more ammo? Basic attack. Oh, so you have to make her basic attack cost zero ammo. Let's locate movement. 
another character. I mean, the character is not bad, but you need a lot of skill points to get her going. 25% crit chance while invisible. Okay. Hmm. Very nice, but how do I get more ammo for the gun? An attack ability, that uh, usual stuff. It's both shocked and invisible, you get 75% more damage, okay. More shock, 50% more shock damage, which will really make the character shine. Pulse finder. Shock expires against. Okay, so I kind of see the whole point of the character. So the whole point of the character is to be shocked and be invisible and shock a lot of enemies. So she's basically an AoE damage dealer, which can teleport and can become invisible, can do a lot of things. But these are all passive and invisible things. They're not going to help you in the combat unless you upgrade the gun. Apparently, you have to upgrade the gun, first of all, and then find ways to give her more ammo. And this doesn't even have an upgrade. Charged up, fail. And it's a cool character, the design is cool, but it's basically useless unless you get to the end game. Because look at this character, he's so much more straightforward. You shoot, you shoot again, you shoot, and you have damage based on evasion. So, I guess we'll put this character on the back burner, level up these characters to the max, and then come back to her. Definitely, this guy is the main deal over here. Improve AoE Cone. What is Quick Load? Oh. Quick Load. One ammo on crit. Oh yeah, and I have to buy the dice that gives crit chance. A stacking 25% crit chance on crit. Oh, interesting, so the more crits he deals, the more crit... The more critical hits he deals, the more critical hits he'll deal even more. Six targets, so what is the improvement? Four targets, six targets. I guess if you upgrade it, you you get some bonuses, but not much else. I don't like this one if it's upgraded. You still need the ammo for it. I mean, this still consumes ammo, so that's not such a good upgrade. I want to upgrade his sniper ability, Bullseye, level 1. Reduce cooldown. Yeah, Bullseye is such a good ability. I guess already Bruce Willis is kind of like the max he can get. I don't remember seeing enemies with armor, so I guess this will be for later or for bigger, stronger enemies. One M. Quick load. Hit them hard. I guess this is only for the passive bonus. Okay, so. This guy is definitely not going to become stronger. That means he has two signature charges. Okay, I'm just looking at this stuff. This stuff is a, it takes a long time to a long time to read because the, it's not as straightforward as it could be. Yeah, I just see crit chance over there. That's probably something we have to take. That is not so good for him. Slippery. One evasion when he's hit by crit. You don't want to make your build be based on the fact you'll get hit. I need this. I really need this. Yeah, now it makes it, it makes a lot more sense like that. About it. Oops, that was a mistake. Ah, it's it's 
it's going to be fine, I guess. I don't like that pursuit. Just that will add more stuff. It can move. So that will inflict blinded and he can shoot the blinded to get more evasion. I think it's only for that moment and then he can use his ability to... Okay, more or less makes sense. And fatal. Yeah, I guess hot pursuit would be good as well. And then I have nothing more to gain from all of that. I guess I'll also need this, so I can at some point get two charges of this or reduce cooldown. Or should I get the other stuff over here, knock them down? So marked will light them up. Yeah, but light them up can be super bad because it might make the enemies go away from your sight. Yeah, so I have to go for the crit with the crits. Okay. Working. Shut up. I hear what you have to tell me. I need a crit talisman. Now with the crit talisman, we'll assign this to him. Here. And that will give him a crit chance. So now he will have a lot of crit chances and he will be a lot better. Plus he also has a lot of armor. Which I think it will be not it will not help us because well. It's not really enough. How much ink do we have? 100 ink. I guess if the abilities are already level 2, it's much more expensive to upgrade. Let's upgrade that to level 2. Let's make sure everyone has level 2 cards. Can I change the card? Can I? No, you cannot remove the card. Oh man, this is such a great ability. I wish I didn't put it on this character. I wish I'd put it on this character, but then... Yeah. Anyway, it makes sense. It makes sense. Go to the league. Okay, let's look at the next missions. We can rescue another person. We can get more potential recruits. I guess the biggest thing will be the hideouts, which will regenerate their loot. Failure is not an option. I guess we need to spend that intel, okay. Ready to get your hands dirty. That's level 1, level 2, and this will be level 3. Oh, and this will have a lot of supplies. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so we are ready for that. Something challenging today, I hope. I wish I had more bags like this because it's so important to unlock this as fast as possible. I will wait until I have enough resources to unlock the second one because this doesn't feel like it will be that good. Reduce cooldowns is... Eh. Using a buff or debuff consumable that generates a buff or debuff, so that's a consumable. I don't really use consumables that much, so it's another meh thing. Reload ability, reduce cooldown. That's not so. Anyway, the things are not so bad, but we need a lot more upgrades with the bags. Bag upgrades are the most important thing ever. Okay, I think we're doing very well. Let me save the game. We have rescued the. Hey, my DLC character that is not so impressive unless you get all of the upgrades and then she'll become a, an AoE beast. And, she, and she'll probably be able to kill a few groups of enemies alone, but until then, <laughs> she's basically the brooding creature in the corner. 
holds one ammo. Oh, if she ends the turn with ammo, she automatically activates the Vigilance Overwatch. Wait, I didn't catch on that. Oh, she enters Overwatch if her weapon has ammo. That's another interesting ability. So she... You don't need to spend action points for her to enter the Overwatch. I guess if you upgrade the gun, it will have more ammo. I'm not sure if this is how it works. We'll just have to see because... We need to unlock that thing. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.